OBC 3D printing filament is a breakthrough 3D printing material from the chemist at Dow Chemical. Step into a new world of expanded material capabilities for 3D printing with OBC. Let's break it down. This blend has very low density without sacrificing strength or toughness. Density gets tricky when it comes to filament that's available by weight, and in OBC's case it means that 100 meters of filament will weigh 30% less than 100 meters of PLA or PETG filaments. OBC has a density of 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter, whereas PLA has a density of 1.2 grams per cubic centimeter. That means that a 350 gram spool will print as many parts as a 500 gram spool of PLA or PETG, despite their different weights. They both have around 320 meters of material on the spool. OBC is a low flexural modulus, which means that its flexibility is unmatched by other 3D printing materials. Its extreme fatigue resistance means you can print things like this container's living hinge, which can be exercised back and forth over and over without fatigue. OBC's mechanical properties can be tuned through specific design applications, that is, flexible when thin, or stiff when you're having thicker cross-sectional area. In the end, OBC's uniqueness as a material is that functional parts can be designed with sections that are tough and rigid, but have a flip-closed lid that can be all part of the same 3D print. OBC is easy to print and requires very little tuning for your 3D printer. It is one of the few flexible 3D printing materials that is approachable even to inexperienced users. Where other materials can buckle in the printer's extruder, as a filament, this material is rigid enough to be easily extruded by basically any extruder type. Though easy to print, it still boasts breakthrough features that only Dow Chemical could design. Where a chemically resistant material is needed for a 3D print or a living hinge that needs to be used over and over, OBC is the filament of choice. For example, polyethylene-based products include milk jugs and cutting boards which are rigid even at their most thin point or polypropylene-based uses include contact cases or food storage containers with snapshot lids that can be used repeatedly without fatigue. Printing temperatures for OBC are lower than might be expected. Depending on the specific printer setup, ideal temperature is anywhere between 160 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius for the nozzle and 60 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius for the bed. This means that most printers out there are capable of printing this material with the temperature of the bed being the limiting factor in some cases. Some printers can't reach 100 degrees Celsius, but can get close enough to work. An important thing to note is that OBC is very specific when it comes to bed adhesion. Where other filaments work well with a variety of adhesives, OBC will only work with packaging tape, specifically polypropylene packaging tape. Once it's applied to the printer's bed surface, prints will stick exceptionally well. With its diverse set of properties, OBC is a magical filament with many different use cases, and coming from Dow Chemical, you can trust they've done their research into creating the ideal material for a 3D printing filament that's both easy to print and can be stiff or flexible depending on design. OBC is available in several colors in both 1.75mm and 3mm diameter filaments, so you can get printing right away. To order your spool today, go to matterhackers.com. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tech breakdown on OBC 3D printing filament and that it's given you some ideas on how to create your own unique containers with living hinges like this contact case. Stay tuned for more tech breakdowns by hitting that subscribe down below. See you on the next one.